Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to cover about the IAM in AWS. So IAM is one of the AWS service. The full form of the IAM is the Identity Access Management. So let us try to understand it. So by the name itself, we can see Identity Access Management. So it is nothing but it is related to the access. Okay. For taking an example, suppose you are working in any company. Suppose you you are working in a company. Your name is A. Okay. Now suppose you are a UI developer. Okay, you are a UI developer. Suppose uh, the another person who joined as a data analyst. Okay, and suppose we also have one uh, C who joined as a project manager. Okay, now when we talk about the from the access perspective, right? So to do a work, what are the things? What are the access which is generally required for the UI developer? So for from from high level, we can say suppose UI developer require the Dynamo DB access. Dynamo DB access, okay, and he also required the EC2 access, okay, EC2 access, okay. From the data analyst perspective, what actually he required? He required some dashboard, uh, dashboard access, and also the storage related the access he required, okay, to do his work. But from the project manager perspective, what he required? He required only the dashboard access, okay. Now. If 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 A is a UI developer and if you want to give him if he wants only this access, so with the help of the identity access management, we can give only him as a Dynamo DB and the EC2 access. Okay, so generally we don't give all the access to the any user. Okay, we only try to we 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 always try to restrict the access. So that is the important point we have to remember. Okay, if UI developer required only the Dynamo DB access, so we will give only the Dynamo DB access for the data analysis. If he requires only the dashboard and storage related access, we will give him that. And for project manager, he only want the dashboard access. to take a decision so for we will give only the dashboard related access okay now how actually we can do that so we can do in aws service with the help of the identity access management i hope this is clear with the help of the example okay i'm okay now when we talk about the iam right so in iam we generally talk about the four things okay let us try to understand one by one okay the first thing is like iam first is like iam user okay the second one is like iam i am group okay the third one is like i am role and the fourth one is like i am policy okay uh, in next video we'll do a practical and how we will see how actually we can create user group role and policy but from the theory perspective let us try to understand one by one okay when we say about the i am user right so suppose a is a user okay he joined a company okay so he he required to do the work like he required the dynamo db access and ec2 access so what we will do with the help of the iam user we can create a we can create a user okay we can create a user so what we will do we will try to give him a link okay we will try to give him one link with the help of the this link he will try to access the aws he will try to access the aws and which will be having a which will be having having certain access okay that's how actually we do in a real time industry what we do we will try to create a user we will try to give him one link which will be having a certain uh, access which actually he required okay so that actually we, we can do with the help of the iam user okay now when we talk about the group okay so suppose 10 people are there okay suppose 10 people are there so 10 developer Ten developer require the similar kind of the access. Okay, so what actually we do with the help of the IAM group, we will try to create one developer group. Under this developer group, we will assign some policy. Like these are the access uh, is having in this particular group, and in this particular group, we will add a user. Okay, I hope you got it. Okay, now coming to the IAM role. When we talk about the IAM role, right? So, so IAM role is nothing but suppose you have a one EC2 service. So, suppose you have a one EC2 service. Now, is this EC2 service want to access the Red Shift related access? He want access for the IAM related access. Only this kind of the access he actually want. So, what actually we do with the help of the IAM role itself, the services also we can assign some kind of the. access policy okay so also when we create a ec2 service this ec2 service can interact with the the iam it can interact with the uh, red shift it can be interact with the storage so that kind of the 
uh, this kind of the policy actually we can assign with the help of the IAM role creation okay we'll do a practical and we'll understand more about it okay I am policy now let us start about the IAM policy when we talk about the policy suppose you have to you know, give a certain access suppose you have to give the EC2 related access huh? okay so in a AWS by default there are certain policy which is defined like the EC2 full access EC2 full access okay this means all the EC2 related access uh, is having okay sub so, and I am full access okay so this kind of the this kind of the and I am read access this kind of the uh, already defined okay this kind of the policy is already defined so uh, and also we can create our own policy suppose uh, one developer require the dashboard storage DB access so what we'll do we'll try to create one new policy and we'll try to assign a certain uh, rules over there like he can access the EC2 he can only read the storage he can um, uh, read the dashboard this kind of the policy also we can create and by default policy also you will get okay so in next video we will try to do a practical and we'll try to understand more about it but I hope you got an idea so I am is nothing but a, it is a identity access management whenever we talk about any kind of the access related uh, uh, policy we always talk about the I am in a AWS okay now we have given one example like suppose UI developer only want a certain access we'll give them a certain access only and with the help of the IAM user group we'll try to add them in a group we'll try to assign certain policy and we'll try to give certain roles over there okay so I hope you got it that's it in this video thank you